Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Guys, today's beer comes from River Roost Brewing. These guys are in Vermont. This is their Doubtful Guest. And this was sent to me by my beer brother, Greg. Greg, I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is a 6.8% IPA, New England IPA, according to uh, Beer Advocate uh, is saying uh, uh, about it here. But they've only had like nine people comment on it. So I think it's a fairly new release because Untapped has 2,500, over 2,500 uh, ratings on it. So uh, no IBUs are given. It looks pretty cloudy in the pictures here in the glass uh, that I'm looking for uh, on Untapped. So 6.8% uh, beautiful. I mean, a doubtful guess. Uh, there's no dating on on this. Uh, this was probably, according to Greg, probably picked up at the brewery. So I don't know how big they are or if they distribute or not. I kind of doubt it, uh, but I do not know. I do not have that information. So uh, maybe Greg will post something uh, in the comments. Uh, a lot of times he does. So, uh, at least he's watching anyway. Thanks, Craig. I do appreciate it, brother. Uh, let's get on with this one. Uh, this is probably going to re be a real beer as opposed to what we've been having lately. So, uh, uh, let's uh, let's get it open and see what we got. I'm anxious to have a, a real, real beer. Maybe a New England-style beer. Not something that's claiming to be hazy and not. Yes. Pretty hazy coming out. Yeah, I believe it's going to be hazy enough. And they're in Vermont, I say, and they know what they're doing. A little swirly swirl. I want to make sure we get all that loosened up. Uh, in case there is anything in the bottom. Finger of head, guy. Looks like orange juice there, huh? What do you think? Yeah. That's very nice looking. Very, very nice. I can I can pretty much count on my, my brother Greg send me some really tasty stuff in his neck of the woods. So... That looks awesome. To the nose we go. Yep, that smells real good. Oranges, pine, grapefruit. Maybe a little tropical fruit notes going in there, some stone fruit maybe. That smells awesome. <clears throat> I don't know how many different hops they've used on this. Uh, does not say, but it smells pretty good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Greg. Thank you, brother. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Got enough bite to it that I like it. Really, really tasty. Even though it's 6.8, not quite to my 7.0 usual go-to range, I would thend my money on this if it was here. Got enough taste for me and close enough that I would spend it. I'm getting kind of partial to these 16 ounces. They're 12 ounces. Don't hardly put enough beer in the glass. Right. Time I get outside on the deck with it, five minutes later, I'm ready to come back in with it. It doesn't... Hardly enough to wet your whistle, huh? Alright guys, I'm going to go sip on it. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for a while now. Uh, a little bit of lacing gets slapped on the upper part of the glass here. Not so much on the bulb part, but very tasty. Very enjoyable. I would buy this beer, even though it's not up to 7%. 6.8, close enough for me. That's a tasty beer. I hope these guys get bigger and... Realize a dating machine is important, even though it, there are breweries that, that have 
no distribution like these guys probably do and still date their stuff so get that dating machine we gotta have it final joke super smooth I mean that is so easy drinking it's almost like drinking a fruit punch the alcohol 6.8% is very, very well hidden, guys. Uh, uh, very enjoyable. I, again, I will say, I will spend my money on this beer. Especially if they get a dating machine. Uh, to me, guys, it's a solid date. It would probably get a little bit better, better grade than that uh, if it had a date on it. So, 95, right down the middle of the A category, over to Beer Advocate, they say 94 in their outstanding range, and over to Untapped, they have it at 4.23, borderline between their A- minus and solid A beer, so it's it's into the A- minus at least, if not a solid A, so, and some people probably may think it's even better than that, so, uh, very tasty beer, worth picking up if you can get your hands on it, so, and if you have got your hands on it. Let me know what you think. Taste your beer. I enjoyed this. So, uh, be nice to, to taste some other, other stuff. This is, uh, I think, the, the two that Greg sent me. Uh, so, uh, very promising brewery. Up and coming brewery, evidently. So, thanks again, Greg. Guys, till we meet again, let's go see what's in the period.